trying to hit each other in the balls with a kind of spray paint. That, <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> that. Like, who could throw it? Uh, well, minutes, my question was going to be, when do you... In your views. Me personally? Yeah, oh. with, putting views on social media and videos and stuff. There go. was one. <laughs> there was one. Go on. Your, for, oh, your have you done fucking research? I've <laughs> <laughs> been guilty of not getting it because of a session. That's true. So, uh, that is very true. Would you get down off your high horse? <laughs> who do you think you are? Hi, everyone. I'm Ben from Educating Idiots. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, apparently, Rishi Sunak has said that uh, it's come out today that smoking should be banned um, and, and rise from 18 by one year for every year that goes past. Sorry, say that again. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a true, isn't it? I've got to get my head around Rishi that. Rishi Sunak, this is his big idea, run up to election and to impress everybody, Yeah, is the smoking age should rise from 18 by one year every year that goes past until it's banned. I still don't get it. So it's 18 now. So in a year from now, it will be 19. 19. The, the legal age then, to smoke, you're yeah, talking. It will yeah. become 20. And a year from then, it will become 21. And they keep going. I think, couldn't that uh, be a discrimination is, issue? So from a certain year. Yeah. So a so it'll get, age group of people will never be able to smoke. But they'll be able to watch them. people smoking. <laughs> well, yeah, so if you're 41 and I'm 40, it'll get to a point where you can legally smoke and I can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is so overcomplicated that it's... <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> I know. People are like, can I smoke it to work this out? Like, can I that's smoke? why, you know when I say I don't understand it? It's because I don't want to. My brain goes, bollocks. That's why I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough stupid. It just goes, why? Yeah, well, it doesn't that. make any sense. Yeah, yeah but all the yeah. people that want to know about News, that, top, top headlines. Well, it will be, won't it? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Bullshit. Distractions from all sorts. Mm. Yeah. Nicholas. Yes, Alus. Nick, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> You can um, always add an alus to anything. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Good How evening. are we doing, mate? I'm good, thank you. Good. Slightly nervous. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put it out there. I'm slightly nervous. That's okay. That's well, you don't look it, it, mate. As it started, I felt myself an intake of breath. We'll so. ease into it. We'll yeah, ease into let's it. do that. Yeah, yeah we we'll ease into these things, mate. Don't Imagine worry. everyone naked. <laughs> I don't understand that concept. Weird. I mean, I don't know how that. Why does that work? It's a confidence thing, I think. So if you're, if someone's naked, it's going to make you feel a lot better about having clothes on. Isn't it? I think it's a pervy thing. Well, like, it could be a pervy thing as well. Yeah. It depends how you look at people. It's subjective. It? Yeah. Is what it is. Yeah. yeah. If you look at everyone with little dicks, then yeah. But if you're thinking everyone's packing, you're like, oh, it depends yeah. how good your imagination <laughs> is. Lower your confidence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I also, can I also state there's no imagining in it because bar Joe I think I've seen you and Luke <laughs> <laughs> not in a yeah in a weird way in a weird way no, that okay. is a bit weird. before Luke was a Luke was a sober guy he was a quite you know naked guy naked yeah. guy do I get naked when I'm drunk I don't think I do that or maybe just at the urinal when we're having a piss no, no? I'm not creepy I didn't look at you well, in the so urinal you've seen, a piss. You've, you've me, I've got naked in front of I'm you I'm not going to remind you of the do time do you get here. naked in front of the urinal having a piss because if you do, no, no, not if I, I, do if I, I tell you what, tripped off. Top, oh, I was going to say, <laughs> can, I, can I say, I if I said guy to you, you, you stand the boxing, chin, you get naked if I said wish. to you, boxing at my house, front room, Okay. You oh, Eddie Brown. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Not fully naked, but no. yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. That'll do. That'll do. Long. Leave it there. I'm a little bit concerned though how much details you all remember each other naked. No, that's just me. I just like to remember. <laughs> that's what he, remembers. <laughs> he remembers all details. Yeah, I just remember anyone who gets naked. So anyway, so, educate is on remembering people when they're naked. Yeah. No, I was introducing you there, Nick, and somehow digress on. Yeah. There you go. These are being naked. Right. Okay. Let's go back. Yeah. Let's go back. Let's go back. So, Nick, um, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Um, you are a YouTuber. Oh, is that, would you describe yourself as a YouTuber? Uh, no. Don't pull that face. You are. You're a YouTuber. I didn't, it's not intentional. It's a good thing. But yeah, a, a little bit. Tell us about that. So what do you do? What do you film? So I've got my own... It sounds, when I say it, it sounds like <laughs> so boring. So I've got my own landscaping and construction company. And we started sort of vlogging um, what we were doing. And Sorry, stop. Vlogging. Video logging. I'm glad is you said that. Is it that called? Yeah. Vlogging. Vlogging. I don't know. I, I didn't do that. I don't call it that. Called. I just... I don't, <laughs> I don't call it that. I just yeah, yeah you I did. just do what I do. You just called it. I know, but I didn't mean I, because I didn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any idea what to say, so I just said that. Vlogging. I heard someone say that earlier, and I just copied it. Fair enough. <laughs> Honesty <laughs> is key in this but situation. Basically, I record stuff on my phone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And put it on YouTube. Yeah, so tell us, what, what do you record? Like, tell uh, us about your channel. So it's what we're doing work-wise, the projects we're doing, um, and then I think unintentionally by just being idiots, 
um, it's kind of taken off a little bit because of the humor and the the sort of building. A lot of people kind of like the building site banter, as you guys. What kind of what kind of humor? What do they do? Mm, slightly blue, blue, blue humor. humor. Okay, blue. What's blue humor? Just nonsense. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, okay. Just yeah, just saying silly stuff and uh, yeah, getting a few laughs. And so it's become we've got quite subscribers now who really aren't interested in the actual subject matter. It's just more us lot prattling around. And so did you start it to make a, a, a block paving or landscaping uh, YouTube channel intentionally, but then it sort of led to a bit of a comedy sort of. It's it's a different. How did it come about? Yeah, because you don't mix them two generally. No, no yeah, no, that's what so, I mean, yeah. yeah. Comedy it's a, it's a bit, and block paving. It's, it's a difficult one in a sense of, um, so a, a friend of mine, somebody else had started doing it during the COVID outbreak and they started doing it and it just went off phenomenally. Um, and he sort of mentioned the sort of what was going on. And I mean, he's at about 70,000 subscribers now. It's phenomenal. Oh, wow. Big cheese. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and then I kind of, I've got the idea from that and um, and he does similar work. So mm. I was like, well, I'll have a, you know, I'll have a little piece of that. And mm. that's how it kind of came about. I don't about. think people think it's a thing, do they? They think, they think it's it's not possible. But like I say, truly it is because you can just have a go and then it. Well, what have you got to lose? How many, how many viewers have you got? Uh, I think we're just under 11,000 at the minute. 11,000 subscribers? Subscribers, yeah. Wow. You get more, what views, what kind of views do you get? It, it, do you know what? I, I, shout out to YouTube. I don't know. It's, it's <laughs> It varies. I couldn't tell you how it works. Some videos I do, I think they're amazing and we get nothing or next to nothing in my eyes. And then some we do that are awful and they'd take off. But on average, probably 10,000 a week. Um, nine, ten thousand. We've had ones that have gone, you know, three, four hundred thousand views. Do you know the ones that go three, four hundred thousand views? Do you make a note of whether it's the comedy sort of type or whether it's the landscape? Oh no, I know what it is. You, what what is it? It's drama. Is that what it is? Drama. Yeah, People drama. love drama. That makes sense. To be yeah. fair, yeah. everybody the more, loves the more drama. dramatic the thumbnail, the title. You know, if you've had an argument with a neighbour on camera. Have you ever done one like that where where you've gone? This is drama. It's going to go mad, but then yeah. it doesn't. I hate to say it, but it gets to the point where you're quite, when bad things happen, sometimes you're like, oh, this is brilliant. No, but, <laughs> but have good. you ever had this it where, good. thank you. you. <laughs> have you ever had it where you've done that and it's drama and it's mad, but then it hasn't taken off? Or is it generally, that's that's no, the not that's really. the recipe for people? Yeah, I'm not saying viewers, people, yeah, the viewers tend to want, I suppose that's why we watch soap operas. That's yeah, why it makes sense, yeah. You know, yeah, if people, people sat it. playing chess and not really speaking to each other, it wouldn't. You know, if people want to see a, an argument, a punch up, things going wrong for people, that sounds awful, but mm. that's kind of... No, no, people revel in that, don't they? Yeah. So it's all, I mean, it's it's all real, obviously. Yeah, it's real. I think it's it makes real people, life. I, I don't think it's that they're reveling. I think it's more that they can connect with that. Yeah. So yeah. We, we, obviously, I'm a tradesman and we're doing trade work. I think a lot of the other channels on YouTube who do what we do, are all, everything's ever so polished. It's like they lay in a patio and there's not one blob of cement on a slab and... They're so you're always, a bit more realistic. Yeah, yeah. it's 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 warts and all. You know, yeah. it's, it's real. You know, do do the your your customers, your residents of the of the properties that you yeah. work at, do any of them have a problem you filming? We haven't encountered it yet. And then what we're telling do you let them know first? No, not really. That sounds quite bad. Just, <laughs> get, just get on with it. Like if they then if they then raise the point, you know, if they raise the problem, yeah. I would I'd honour that. It's their property. I understand. Um, but what we're tending to find now is we're getting quite a lot of work through YouTube. So a lot of the people almost, we're getting work off the back that people want to be, Film, be the, yeah. filmed and on the channel. So it's it's pretty cool. So it's that been a really good, good um, uh, lead, marketing for your business, basically. Yeah, 100%. Because <clears throat> podcasting for business is a, is a big thing now. Like all businesses mm -hmm. are, are creating podcasts. I learned the other day that British Gas have got a podcast. Oh, really? Oh, my what? God. Yeah, they've got a podcast. What would that be about? Energy. It's called the energy something. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, and I think that Markel insurers and places like that, so they're all doing podcasts to talk about their businesses, and it's obviously working, but even at your level as a landscaper, yeah. even it's helping in that sense. It's, it's, do you know what? It's, it's always something I'm conscious of, and it's like it's double-edged because when we first started the channel, we tried to put out things that were more sort of, um, how do you say it, prim and proper? Okay, yeah. I know what so you mean. So it was yeah. like, let's do a tutorial on how to build a sleeper planter. <laughs> and like, you know. <laughs> Why did you change I love that voice. Because that's, what, that's the kind of audience <laughs> right. that I think would watch that. Yeah. That's my impression <laughs> of that audience. I'm going to get, they're going to all follow me by the time I start. <laughs> but yeah, so we, we tried to do the whole sort of. Um, Tutorials. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and being, you know, and it just doesn't work. No. It didn't work. People just weren't interested. And then. 
when you group. say it doesn't work, it wasn't getting the hits, wasn't it just getting the likes. People just we, we you do, but so we did a tutorial on like how to lay block paving, and it was re- ever so like you know BBC mundane. You know, it was really yeah, just yeah. really tutorial, and and people just like they didn't they didn't buy it, and I think almost by accident or just through frustration of trial and error, we eventually started like, come on, let's have it. I mean, I think one of our one of our biggest things that took off was trying to hit each other in the balls with a kind of spray paint. That, what, like, on lunch, that? like who could throw it? Uh, well, my question was going to be, when do you get to a point where you go, right, I've really got to sensationalise my life here and then just start doing dramatic things at work. But yeah. I think you're there. Like, <laughs> yeah. <that's it. laughs> also, not... my, my boring question about that is, when does oh, it start? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> let me get comfortable. When let's does... go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's, 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 let's ruin right. this. I can't wait for this. Oh, yeah. what, what I mean by that is, when you get in so much banter, oh, cheers, Luke, um, and you're not actually doing the work, like, does it does it affect how long you're taking to do the job and what you're getting God, paid? that is boring. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, sorry, man. That's just from... That's, that's from, like, your... Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Why, money, why money. Track? Why aren't you on the clock? I mean, no, not really, in a sense. Do you put it in your invoice when you're at a yeah. job? Yeah, that's a good no, question, yeah. yeah. So we put out an hour video once a week on a Sunday. So realistically, I've got to kind of try and record between i don't know this is my maths and i'm gonna show myself for it, but about normally on average about seven to ten minutes a day that's what i take up recording so tea break oh that's nothing yeah right right but it accumulates and at the end of the week you've got a video right of course so, yeah, yeah fair enough you know six minutes of that can be um you know what we're doing time lapses of the work we're doing and so on which is kind of the educational tutorial sensible stuff yeah and the other two minutes can be like shoplifting at tesco <laughs> <laughs> So, which is that doesn't happen that's a joke oh right but i've not actually done that yet but yeah we'll see where, yeah. like you say we'll see where we get to that that's point what, where we've got uh, to sensationalize intriguing. i feel yeah. like i want to keep watching to see where you go i will say on occasion it pains me we'll be having a chat at lunch and something will come up and it's hilarious and, and you didn't record it. And we've had to do it again. Oh, wow. There's been a second take happened. where we've like yeah. had to stage it and you've got to all laugh at the same jokes that were told. So, you know, so Little there is an element of that sometimes. Yeah. It's That's professional, though, to be fair, that is. Well, I don't, I don't know. Sometimes I feel a little bit like we're conning the viewer a little bit, but I mean, that's our, ta- to... that's how Tawi was made, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. That. And, and the other part of it is um, if it's funny and I think they're going to enjoy it and it's a subject matter that's actually going to hit home or whatever, then it's worth doing. No, I respect that. I respect that. Yeah. Like you say, that the, the, there must be a, an element of awkwardness to having to, because it's funny at the time, but then knowing it's funny at the time, then that's gold for yeah. YouTube, isn't it? But then you've got to restage it. And famously, when you restage stuff, it's yeah. not normally as funny as the first time. But to answer Luke's question, we're not quite at the point where we're like having to wear <laughs> mankinis and do little dances and stuff just yet. yet. Do yeah. you feel pressure though that you do have to keep giving your audience more in order to grow subscribers or I won't I, I, I don't want to sound like I'm moaning but it can <clears throat> it can be incredibly difficult yeah it can be like we have to we've committed we're going to put a video out every single week and you know me and my business partner could be arguing on the Monday you've still got to get that 10 minutes it's a big commitment it yeah. could be peeing down the rain you've still got to get that 10 minutes you hit an electric main you've still got to get that te- you know like it doesn't matter how bad it gets yeah you've committed and if you don't do it the next day you've got to do 20 to make up for it to make up for it yeah. and it, so yeah it can it, it, you know it's sometimes it's a it's massive not. added pressure on on top of what you do as well then isn't it yeah but we do you know what we kind of integrate that into the video like i said it's honest so if i'm do we swear about that yeah, yeah of course go if for i'm it. pissed off i'd demonstrate it but you will hear about it in the comments yeah, yeah. like i can be on there moaning for two, like i can remember once we did a job and it rained for like three days straight and it was just horrendous and I just sat in the van and moaned for 30 minutes. And then the comments were like, I don't sign up here for you to moan or, you know, like, I want to see you like having a laugh. I'm like, I can't, I'm not, I can't dance. I'm yeah. not going to do, I'm not doing the mankini thing just yet. I'm not in that mood like, today. Like, it's awful. I'm really struggling. But, you know, but the, the good people look at it and go, you know, that's fair enough. Have that, you got fans then? So fans that come up to you or oh, local fans? Yeah, we've got a weird... Like, don't thing. say it like that. You love it, Nick. <laughs> no, mm, yeah, I you don't love know. It. We've, we've met, a, there's been a couple of awkward moments. Like I'd be in like B and Q looking for stuff and someone will come like, You're that guy. You're that guy, I think, aren't you? And you're like, oh my god. Oh. It's a bit in front of loads of people as well, so it's just cringe. I met a guy in Wilco's <laughs> once. <laughs> Shout out Wilco's. Yeah. Wilco's, yeah. Um, yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, a few. We've had um we had a we've had a couple of incidents. Ah, do I go there? Yeah, I'll go there. <laughs> <laughs> we had a couple, we had an incident with a, a fan who like started sending us gifts. 
we got quite a lot of gifts off him. Oh, that's nice. I've heard about this. It's quite common, isn't it? Yeah, and it got a bit. Well, so, I've not received any. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was always uncomfortable with it. I didn't really like it because I'm, I'm a big believer in everything. You, there's a debt. Yeah, you, know, you pay back. You feel like you owe them when you. Yeah, yeah and the more, what were they sending? I wouldn't oh, feel like that. Started off with like crisp and chocolate. Got to the point where we were getting like leaf blowers, cat scans. You know, fair bit of money. Did the messages Mikita come radios, with it? Like... Who sends someone a cat? Oh, I suppose your business, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so wrapping the cat scan up. But why there. though? What's what's the motive? I, I don't. I Could don't you, know. Just things they thought we needed, it? and it's on know, screen. So. Well, yeah, but you haven't sent it by the company that makes it. It's just some guy, some, oh, random, some random person guy. sending them. Yeah, it's random people. Oh, like, what they? Oh no, a yeah, cat yeah, scan yeah, yeah. And then gone. Yeah. Oh, wrap that up. Yeah. My mum didn't want that one. So yeah, Makita, I haven't gone. Oh, I'll send him a load of gear. Yeah. Oh, what? So random people send <laughs> yeah. random things. Yeah. <laughs> Shy <Shout out> Makita. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's, this that's is the why... goal. That's the ultimate goal. Is to be... no one's going to sponsor us like that. I don't think. But um, was the letter with the cat no, scanner? No, it just it just it just contact us. With... It started anonymously, and then it, it so. But I was always a bit, it's a bit, made me feel a bit. You know when you say anonymously, so you get it delivered. They'll just to... order off Amazon and it'll turn up at the office with with no, no. message who it's no. from. What it's I get for. a comment, but obviously comments on YouTube would be like a username, yeah. so I don't I don't know who it is. So you can't. Yeah. Talk to me about comments. Do you read all your comments? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a hesitation. I, like, like I don't want to put it out there because they'll love it. Someone will love it. So yeah. so you read all your comments. Yeah. You post them on Instagram and I pissed myself laughing. I messaged yeah. you and I went, that's Do you know what I'll say to you, Joe? I, I, it's it's done me, in, in life in general, it's done me a massive favour. Has I, it? I'm, honestly, I, I love it. I what, I'm, thickened your skin? Yeah. In a sense? Yeah. Because you go on there, you've got 11,000, you know, you, on a video you might have a thousand comments. You're gonna get nailed. Yeah, it's quite you know intimidating. What, the first, to be the fair. first couple of months, you'd be like, "You what, pal? <laughs> I've got a big nose. Where is shit." <laughs> you know, that's how it was. Like they're just awful. Like so, you so just you get am. So you went and got your hair done and yeah, your nose yeah, and, yeah, transplant <laughs> nose job. But um, yeah, so you'd get you get nailed, and at first you'd get aggravated, you respond and whatever. But over time, you just realise like it's just a pointless. Yeah, you just. The, the type of people that are going to kind of troll or throw insults, well, it, no it, matter what you say, yeah. they're going to continue. It, they're just, it's not about the comment. It's more about the well, they've, they've connection. Took their time. They've took their time to have a feeling regarding whatever you put on. Mm. Do you know what I mean, if they've took that time out of their life, whatever that life may be, we can question that, um, to what, go on your comments and give you some. But What's you know. the worst one you've got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to Straight there. I <laughs> like um, it. I think the, the the gift guy was a bit of a problem. I'm always anxious talking about it because if he sees this, it will trigger him. Mm. It was that bad. Uh, he won't be watching this. So the work, <laughs> so um, the uh, yeah. So he's sending all these gifts. It got to a point gifts. where I was like, gifts, gifts, gifts. Sorry, oh. I'm <laughs> no, no, because gifts is that gift. thing on a oh no, text. not a meme like a gift. Oh right, right, right. Tea at the end. Yeah. Tea. So he's sending gifts. What type and of it gifts? made me uncomfortable. And what type, got what to type the... of gifts? Come on. I told Let's you like it. all the Makita stuff. Oh, he, he so he gave you every one. Yeah. Oh, I thought like it, it got to the point where weekly of... we were getting like oh, three hundred pound gifts. Person off the same guy. Oh, that's more. So I'm like, this is a bit. I'm gonna be rude. Yeah, I feel it in debt to him. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit odd. So, um, I tried to put a stop to it. So I was like, look, mate. Don't I kept every time that he sent one, I was like, don't please don't send anything else, don't send anything. No, I love you guys. I can't work anymore. It really thing it makes me feel good sending me. I'm like, oh. ah, and then another thing. That's that, nice, that's nice. Yeah, but as I said, there's always a cost. Yeah. So and then it got to the point where I was like, I shut it down. I was like, look, stop send mate, don't send any more stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then he Is that shutting it down though, just asking him not to do it? Well, I was trying my hardest with yeah. him. Yeah. And it, it just went it but just he's using his cat scanner at work. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Radio one. <laughs> <laughs> stop yeah. it, mate. Yeah, yeah pack then, it in. I really need a new and drill. Then he, he insisted on like he wanted to add um add he started adding staff started adding other people off the YouTube oh. channel on Facebook and trying to send them stuff. Wait, which... oh, what, oh, I see what you're saying. On okay, social wait, media. Okay. Uh, it's a bit weird, but what's the big concern? Like sending I'll, be, I'll be totally right. honest with you. Send me stuff. If, it makes <laughs> yeah. if you need to send someone stuff, so, I'm here for you. So what had happened was, my, my concern at the time was, I didn't want, when it was being sent to me or the, conver the communication was through me, I can control it so I could stop him doing it and try and talk him out of it and whatever. Mm. But when he starts messaging the long, young lads at work and blah, 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 he's trying to send them like protein powder, mate. Weird stuff. I'm like, and I'm not, I'm not saying that's what his motive was. Why is was. that weird? 
Well, it's, a, it's weird initially, but then I'll get over it pretty quickly. So I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll I don't. Like, <laughs> I'll keep sending it. Keep sending it. Morning. But also, <laughs> I feel like it was a level of um, the, the consequence of that, of accepting the gift, was that he, want, he was like part of it. So it's like there's no boundary. Like he can mess. Like if he messages me and I don't message back, it, he wanted to be. He's too involved. Yeah. And then when I, when I shut it down a bit, he started like sending gifts to like the other other staff and to try and win them over. <laughs> yeah. And my concern then was some of them probably aren't as fingy as me, and they were like, "Yeah, I'll have a new Xbox game." <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, I, I need a grand. <laughs> you know. So I, I wanted to stop it, and then it just went really, really. But bad, like, really like Joe says, though, what really? if that does happen? Where does it get bad? Yeah, I'm well, waiting with for the this, bad with bit. With this that, guy, when I be, when I told him to stop, when I shut it down, yeah, he just went crazy. Yeah, like. But was just, there a certain situation that made you go, "Wow, this is too far"? Or yeah, was it like literally I woke like up in guilt. the morning and he'd gone on my Facebook page and um, like just ranted about his schizophrenia. Yeah. And oh so, right. Okay. Right. So all the way through it, I'm like, "There's something not right here." Yeah, yeah. And my morals or my ethics are saying, "Don't take the gifts," but yeah. I can't stop them. Yeah, and I knew something wasn't right. right. So now I understand the guys. So are... then I shut him down and stop him, and his response is then, "Look, I'm, I'm I drink. Got he's he's, a vulnerable. he's vulnerable. vulnerable. Vulnerable, yeah. yeah. And he's spending his like money, his income on buying us stuff. Yeah. And I, all I did was try to stop it. Yeah. And he just went absolutely like he was so angry that he said I'd accused him of like talking to the lads and it was sort of CD and I never did. I didn't mean it like that. I just wanted to protect. I wanted to stop him sending the. Yeah. Well, it can stop. get political, that can, but that's the danger of social well, media. You don't know. Members. Yeah, they come out the house yeah. and like, where's your £3,000 out your savings account? Yeah. And he's like, well, I've sent these lads on YouTube a load of Makita Ray. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, I don't want to be part you of that. You don't want to be uh, look like that you're taking advantage of it. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah. But we couldn't stop it. You know, it's just, it was, so it is, it is a bit uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable situation. But I kind of knew, I mean, we're all lads here. Like, I kind of knew when some lad who watches YouTube sends a £300 yeah, gift, yeah. I was a bit like, yeah, mm. red flags. <laughs> Mankini time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what have, I got, go? what have I got to do for Let's this? Get the oh, no, no, Let's do I'd the calendar. In that, in that circumstance, uh, this, I could see that. He's talking about Mankini's having a laugh and stuff, but you do, I, I think that you do push boundaries sometimes. Like, you're not shy, are you, in your views? Me personally? Yeah, p- oh. putting views on social media and videos and stuff. There go. was one. <laughs> There was one. Go on. You're, uh, oh, you're being have you done fucking research? <laughs> yeah. done research. Listen, he <laughs> downloads the internet to his brain off, <laughs> off that. He's our AI. Right. What, one of my YouTube videos? Yeah, one of YouTube videos. Yeah, on my yeah, Instagram. Because yeah. no, no, YouTube gonna, and Instagram are different. Listen, I'm not going to talk about your personal Instagram unless right. you want to talk about it. Go on, it, YouTube. So go on. Hit me. But there was one on your YouTube. Oh, was it YouTube? It might have been Instagram. I don't know. <laughs> well, what we'll do is we'll talk about it heavily and yeah. if it's really bad, we'll edit it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's no, cool. It weren't even yeah. that bad. It was... You you got up on a Saturday morning and went to go quote someone. Oh, I remember and this. You could, they didn't answer the door, and in their window, it was all beer cans. Those beer cans. And you did not hold back on your views of that situation. That was my personal Instagram, <laughs> for oh, the record. <laughs> so that didn't go on my business one. <laughs> that yeah. guy. Well, I thought that so, was on your channel. Just, I was like, what? No, when no, you no, get no, a no. cat scan being delivered by a guy with a mustache, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> you were like, oh no, because he's put to put porno you. sash. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, that was my personal. But. I'm not, I'm happy to say like um, I'll give up Saturday Sunday mornings. Just I'm take not... your mic and, and just point in front of your mic. No, you, or, or move the mic. Either one, whatever you're comfortable. I'm new. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Is that just closer? Yeah. Perfect. So um, yeah, like anybody, it's frustrating. Like I'll give up my. You know, I've not gone out with you guys on the Friday night or to some some sort of activity because we're. You know, I'm quoting. You've shown sat- some form I'm of commitment on a Saturday and morning, back, yeah. and, go, and these people have harassed. Like some of them have like message me they've emailed me again can you cut and all this contact and then i'll go there at like saturday morning and they're just i'm knocking on the door in the rain and they're just not answering and there's cans of calling on the windowsill i'm like we all know what's happened here mm. so <laughs> what, i did get what's mass- happened they've just got absolutely seshed up and not bothered to answer the door to me uh-huh. but i did get massively tempted i was gonna like the only reason I didn't do it, it was a double driveway. So I was parked on it and I was going to just hold the horn down until they come out. Oh, wow. That's extreme. I was extreme. so angry at this day. <laughs> oh, you were very angry. Oh, I was fuming. <laughs> and um, yeah, but because it was a shared driveway, I felt it would be inappropriate to the poor people that hadn't invited me. Did you two see it? I did, yeah. I know what you're talking no, about. Not yeah. on social media. Oh, God. <laughs> here he goes. He's on his eye. So you're not drinking. You're doing ice bath. And now, what, you're off I social media? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I'm, you're on, media? I'm on TikTok. I'm just glad yeah, he's got you his are on social media. media. Yeah, yeah, but personally, you... No, I'm not on it. No, you're a new Waste guy. of everyone's time. You're a new guy. 
There's more things to do in life than comedy. Wait, so everyone sign oh, for all those people that we want to come to our social media. Oh, yeah, but all <laughs> you guys, all you guys <laughs> wasting your time. That's fine. You, we're on social media up. right now. Yeah, getting TikTok followers. Listen, get you on the mm. scroll away. Scroll away. Oh. It's good for your mind. Great. I mean, I'll have to cut that now. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not truth. on social media. You, no, don't, don't go on. Don't like us. Don't subscribe. Don't. Don't bother. What's yeah, he doing? Oh, the you... funny thing is, he'll change his mind tomorrow. So <laughs> I've got so 20 different social medias. <laughs> no, what was the question? I can't remember what the right, question no, was. I'll do that. We were talking yeah, about... Um, my, 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 we were talking, I'll, I'll keep this professional, Thank guys. You. Yeah, <laughs> guess. Yeah, guess. Back on track. Cheers, Nick. No, we were I'm talking here. about the Instagram video. He was yeah. angry. Yes. He was going to beep until they come yeah, out. Yeah, so tell me what he said because I didn't see it. Oh, so, do you want to say what he said? Oh, why was you, it uh, uh, Basically along them lines. I just said, yeah. I'm, I'm like fuming. Mm. That something, probably not So you put bloody hell, I'm fuming. Absolutely fuming. I was fuming. Yeah. On there, eight in the morning, they're in bed, pissed. Don't you ever think, what if, like, you're happy for them to see that? Or oh, it's not connected at all, so that's why you do it? Or is it an element of, I want you to see that because I'm pissed off? Which one? Well, until this point, that was my private Instagram. Right, so, yeah, separate. Yeah, so, so, you, so, so you separate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I've just been thrown I've under the bus. <laughs> but, I've done you there. I no, saw it's it. fine. Because I, I see your uh, work video, your YouTube video, so much like, I assume. No, no, no. Well, that was it. To be honest, that's a good that question. Was having a pri- that was me having a private mode. You know, you yeah. know, for, Which for I, you. I will back up and say I would quite happily. You say I, private mode, but you've got, it's not private. No, my Instagram is. No, but YouTube, YouTube. Yeah, no, but I've got, I've you not your, Instagram's way, you, just you guys. Like, yeah, yeah, you do your job. You're quite like you say. It's hands on. People will see you. That it like with Joe with the the. How do you keep that intersected? How do you have a private and non-private? Because you so come across anything to do with the YouTube's through um, YouTube. I've got a business, so my BNP Facebook page. Um, and Instagram, but obviously myself as my name is. But it me. won't be hard for someone to find that. Then. No, but it's all private. You have to keep it all private. So it's if all private. If you release that video on your YouTube channel, yes, he was angry. There was a few words that we've omitted, and that's fine. Yeah. But if you put that on your YouTube channel, do you not think that would just go? You'll get so many views on it. Are you? Where are you on that? Sort of, where's May- your boundaries? Maybe, yeah. but then did, did the problem and the problem that I have now and I've always had with the channel is. It's like, it's where the line's drawn. Mm. So, like you said, it's where you sell your soul for YouTube or or the business. So mm. it's really difficult to navigate. So, um, yeah, like I don't know how like far I can. Yeah. 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 yeah, like is that if so? Example: If I had to put that clip on my YouTube, yes, I know what you mean. There's going to be subscribers, viewers, people who aren't potential customers are going to watch that and go, "Yeah, you're right, mate. Fair yeah. play," but. You've got to think of it from a perspective that a potential customer could look at that and think, and put, put, this guy's slating. I completely, I completely uh, relate to it because I had to do that with this podcast and the fact that of the charity that I'm the chairman yeah. of, yeah. the Holiday Trust. Or you could just get up and someone org. invited a, a, a person around in the morning and then that would be fine, wouldn't it? Well, that's what I would probably, yeah. That's what I'd suggest. Sorry. Yeah. You could just get up. Could you could just be? get out of bed and not do the sesh thing. And, and then he wouldn't have had to complain about it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone around this table has been guilty of not getting because of a session. <laughs> That's true. So I don't know. That is very true. Would you get down off your high horse? Who do you think you are? <laughs> oh, do you know what I was thinking is when you were talking, I've let someone dig my garden while I was hung over on my settee. And I thought, there's a difference. Oh, yeah, I'll let them do it. No, I, I but you know, you've left me stood on a golf first tee of golf. Many a time. Yeah. That's why I've stopped drinking I'm now. I'm practice like swinging. <laughs> practice swinging. He'll turn up anyway. I've got up at six in the morning, Nick. Six in the morning. Yeah. Not even a phone call. No Joe, text, no nothing. Joe, Just don't turn up. Can people not change? <laughs> People, but you're right. People can change. Thank you. Let's and not I... talk about the past. Let's talk about the present. <laughs> is that where we're at? Are we just writing that off? Right. So basically, what you're saying is, the, those people should have got up and they shouldn't have left you out in the yeah. room. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's a bit, you know. Admittedly, I shouldn't. I'm human. I shouldn't lose my temper. I shouldn't have a little moan and a rant. But we have to be careful now, don't we, about being online because there, there's more and more scrutiny on people are people sharing their views that are controversial and mm. big media are trying to shut things down and censor people there's a new online safety bill that's just been released this week or it was either this week or last week if you google it yeah uh, it doesn't come up on any news places it's just a .gov website and you know oh, is this the old sort of internet we're protecting you thing yeah where... we're protecting you and it's got some actually genuine no but it's got some real genuine much needed um policies in there like um safeguarding issues children's safeguarding online 
um, violent, online violence and um, ta- exploitation of children. Through. Yeah, but it's good they're doing it. Mm. But what they're doing also is they're putting all these real ones that we need to be go, yeah, definitely. Mm. And they're just slipping a couple at the bottom that are a little bit like um, anti-vaccine language. Wow. Well, what's anti-vaccine wow. language? Yeah. What's, so so it's like putting actual real needed things through and stacking it up on top mm. of and things. Chuck a couple of little bits in the background. Chuck it, yeah, and that's why it's not really being widely reported. Russell mm. Brand is As trying to shout about it, but that's no one's it. listening to him anymore. Yeah, well, he's not allowed by the yeah. government. Yeah, but what, what apart, this online safety bill will um, help shut Rumble down, uh, basically, which is the wow. one platform. Oh, platform. Okay. That's the platform that's where he's on, on right? That's where he's yeah. at. Yeah, he's got to deal with them. Um, so he can still broadcast from uh, Rumble. Uh, but this online safety bill will help minimise their exposure. It's because like of the it, other things that are on there. Do you know it's like what? Give him one really, hand and take him with the other, innit? Yeah. It's a really grey... It's a really grey and dark area, in it. All that stuff. But online safety? No, I mean, I, I think there needs to be... I mean, I, we grew up... Our generation now, I mean, I'm nearly We've 40, but start. it was like the wild west of the internet yeah. back then. Like, mm. it was, there was nothing. Yeah, like, it was yeah not regulated at all. Yeah, yeah. So it needed something, but I do think we're at a real pinnacle at the minute of... Um, Going too far. Yeah, like, what's mm. what's freedom of speech and what's... I, 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 I don't... I do agree with freedom of speech, but I do think, like, there's a line in there. Yeah. You know, well, like, let's, let's, let's... Before we get into that mm. side of it, there's two sides of the coin. What's everyone's views? Because... As you guys know, I've been working with children and young people for nearly 20 years. Right? One of the biggest challenges in our work is um, online safety. Like course, I've seen yeah. the worst end of online safety. Like I've, I've seen what it can do to yeah. children and the position, the exploitation um, and the vulnerability of the children. Um, it's, a, it's a real issue that's been ignored for too long, mm. far too long. So the fact the government are actually taking some tangible action to mm-hmm. reduce those things is a really good thing. But how do we put that the net around that without taking away some of our rights at the same time? So I think um, the biggest problem with that is they're working on the side of children and fear to create control. And I think with control comes an element of um, society not being able to, well, like, like what's happening with everything, if the control out, outside the world and the internet where do you get your information from and how do you know its validity? It's a little bit like the, you know, war on terror, the, the 9-11 attacks, and they use that to make everything more secure, mm. more controls on borders and... For yeah. our own safety. Uh, for our own safety, and yeah. Surveillance yeah. especially and intelligence and eavesdropping and all that sort of stuff. It was all for our own safety. So it's, a, you know, governments tend to use, um, uh, you know, traumatic events to then inform them to how to then carry on living as a result and, of learning from that but do they do they take advantage and take it too far if we think about online safety? i think yes well yeah. who who, mm-hmm. who is allowed now would you say is that is somebody who speaks the truth on the internet because there's a lot of well variations. there's loads of variations if you think about online safety bill let's say that you know and no anti you're not allowed to speak no anti-vaccine speech it was something like that um and so, obviously um, so what you're saying is at, if like tonight we sat here and nailed vaccines and said they're all crap that there's a chance the video be yeah like, that's what, what they're trying yeah, to took, do took down or flagged um it's like no uh, idea false. don't know what the, i don't no, know what the, facebook started doing that didn't they where well, they yeah. talked about people if you had a different YouTube. opinion they false don't you think there's a big difference Sleep between out. crime and freedom of speech or are they too closely connected like crime or doing something wrong but then taking away your freedom of speech because that's really what we're talking about if you're having to put put regulations in to make it safer great like we said but then in doing that you can also you can also play devil's advocate and start telling people what they can and can't say now that is that a is that as bad as a crime see what i'm saying that like, censorship that you're talking censorship about. <coughs> yeah that's what i'm talking crimes about. can arguably be facts that are proved in a court of law yes right or, or the way up the probabilities if it's sim- a civil law yeah where i think censorship and freedom of speech they're ideologies their ways of living. Mm. There's nothing tangible there. They're not factual. It's all mm. subjective as whether something should be But that's be what's said. happening though, isn't it? That's my point. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's... How well, is that we... making people safe is what I'm asking. It's, oh, it's not, is it? Well, it's, yeah, because it's it's emotional crimes. That's what they call called. Emotional? Is that a new thing I now? Think, you know, it's sort hate of... Like, crime. Hate, hate crime, hate crime. There's, yeah. there's like emotional injuries and things like that that mm. are now things that need to be considered. Um, and censorship seems to be... Um, the go-to the establishment's answer yeah. to keeping everybody safe 
from being offended and all those sorts of things. And, you know, if you think about people like Russell Brand, who has been anti-authority, his underlying message is, is to resist authority. Mm. Essentially, everything that he does, that's what's that's what's woven through his his disc, you know, the things that he talks about. So, um, and that's a danger um, for governments for us to lack, you know, uh, be anti-authority because, well, is it actually? You know, are governments well, I authoritarian? Just, I was just is say there an authority? Though, surely, there's good <coughs> authority the, and bad authority, well, also, isn't well, there? If you want to lead, you you allow all opposition because you are surely the. You know what I mean? The, the 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 best way of running something. So if someone's opposing you, they shouldn't be afraid of them. They should encourage it. I think it's I think it's I think it's definitely a way of like controlling a narrative. So in a sense, I was just thinking when you guys were talking, I was like, our generation is quite internet-y, the younger generation even more. And I think the the worry or the concern the government's then got or what's going on at the minute is that it it's kind of it it can't really be contained and controlled. So, and I, I go back, I'm thinking about my mum here who just, she's not internet at all. And all she does is watch the TV. So every it, narrative that's on the TV is is 100%. It's like gospel. Yeah. Like there's no, like I'll come home someday and I'm like, yeah, but have you not thought maybe that these TV programs and, and these TV stations are owned by them and the, and, the and, and it's like, and it almost infuriates her to even th con like conceptualize yeah, it as yeah, another. Yeah. She's like, you know, whereas so you're talking about being brainwashed, really, aren't you? Almost to yeah. a certain extent, and to yeah. the point of like anger. Sometimes I think sometimes I come here and I'm like, I mean, like what was one this week? I think is it what's the guy who's um, is he a presenter and he made some sexist comments about Lawrence Fox? Lawrence oh, Fox, Lawrence. yeah, yeah. He, he made um, some. Has he been arrested? Um, yeah, he's, what's her name? So the pundit Eva. Oh, God. Right, and he made some She's sexual comments saying no one would like to sleep who, with her and all this kind of thing. Like who, who? On telly. You, you have made to explain a lot to me here. Yeah. So Who's he's who? a... Lawrence Fox is an actor turned presenter, isn't he? Is he? Is a that failed right? actor turned failed presenter who's now <laughs> yeah. a okay, yeah. hates... He's just on the right. He's very opinionated. Opinions. Oh, okay. mm. yeah. And he got on a live on this GB News uh, with right is it Dan w Wooten or Wooten. Wooten, yeah, Dan Wooten. And yeah. he made some comments live basically saying like, who would listen to her? Like, I wouldn't sleep with her. Some sort of sexual comment about her sort of thing. Right, okay. Um, but my point we were, before we got the thingy was that like, my mum was like, I went home and she was like absolutely seething about the whole thing. And she's like ranting about it. And I went, like, you do know it's not real, don't you? Like, you do know he's not real. And she went, well, of course he's real. Yeah. You know, he's, he, 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 and who he is and all these things we've just talked. And I went, yeah, but you, it just doesn't exist in your consciousness. Like, he's not a thing. Yeah. Like, why are you so upset? Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it's, turn it's, it off. It's a difficult one because I think that on TV, yeah. uh, it's now so clickbaity that people are yeah. setting up debates, like, just to, to oh, what's have that each other. She, I tell you what, it was, uh, she watches that Jeremy Vine. Yeah. Oh, and it's just, do you yeah. remember like Central Weekend when we were kids, we yeah. just went on for an argument and a yeah. fight. Well, that's what this is all about, but you get that all over YouTube now. It's like middle class Jerry, Spr Jerry Springer, in it? It is a bit like, yeah, it is. It just now, this, people. This, in, this, in this case, with Lawrence Fox and that Dan Wooten, um, they had, it's Ava Evans, and I've seen her, Piers Morgan has her on quite a lot. Mm. Basically, she's a feminist, left wing leaning feminist, um, and she's got really strong views. Yeah. Her strong views are always allowed to be had because of, you know, who she is she's and a, what she's, her she's a minor, is she got the no, minority. Just a woman, view. but she's on the left wing. She's on the left side of politics. She's, she's woke. a woman, anti man. So she's yeah. woke. So yeah. hers get viewed. And, and I think that she's had lots of people argue with her, but this guy um, took it a little bit too far because he attacked her personally. He didn't attack yeah. her ideas. And that's where he's just low. He's making that side of the argument look really bad. He's just ruined things yeah. to people with the logical side yeah. of Misrepresented. Bear in mind yeah. that Ava Evans is somebody that said that openly said on TV, all men should be petrified. We should all live in a state of petri oh, being is that petrified. Her? Yeah, it's her. Um, in case we get an ac ac accused of. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, in case you get accused of, um, I don't know, being inappropriate towards a woman, we should always be anxious. We should always be scared that that um, might happen to us. Always anxious around women. If, yeah. Well, yeah, anyway, that's her view. You might agree with her. That's what, fine. Well, so, sorry. I know. Explain her view there, because I, well, I don't she want to believes anxious in a sense. So of she, what? so she's in a conversation around. Yeah. Um, uh, the guy was saying, "Look, men are always scared. Like we, we can't do this. We can't do that. We're walking get, on eggshells. Walking on eggshells. Yeah. 
because we are scared that you're going to. Is that yeah. we're petrified? She goes, you should all be. You should, be, you should yeah. always be terrified. You should always be terrified. Or the way you speak to women and no, just in a state of terrifiedness, if that's a word. <laughs> oh. Right. So we don't do anything inappropriate towards women. So wow. what I'm saying is, is she. The point I'm making is she's got very strong views, and some will agree with her, and some won't. Yeah. She's Who's to like, say what's right? Basically, yeah, and when you give strong views out. You're going to get strong views back. Yeah. But this donut, this Lawrence Fox, right? you think there are some men who would have an actual logical explanation to her. I'm sure mm. we would. Yeah. Mm. And actually, we need to show her that that view is really bad. What but is this that? donut's come along and said to her, um, any self respecting man um, would not climb into bed with her or something like yeah, that. Yeah. So he's gone drug. What? Well, yeah. You're, 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 took it you're, I think Ben's quite logical. Uh, so what would your argument be? He's a logical argument. So what argument. do you want to do? Rate her out of 10? Sorry, what's the question? Eight, what are you asking me? So, uh, what would be the logical <laughs> argument back to that that men should always be in a state of sort of um, anxious? I don't even think it needs addressing. That's that's ridiculous. Why should someone live their life in fear? What and whatever happened to sticks and stones? Remember that when we were kids, sticks and stones may break my bones, no, but what names will never hurt me. Mm. Why are we all, all the, of a sudden? Saying, all they say on national TV that no man, no self-respecting man should ever get into bed with you in front of the nation. It's disrespectful. The, it's uh, rude. It's it's, it's pathetic. But, but at the Joe, same time, like you said, he, in doing so, yeah, what's, he, what's he, he done? He made the yeah. argument for it's, for the guys. He's ruined yeah. everyone's opposing yeah. argument yeah. to that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's ruined it for that. That's how yeah. thick these people are, and they're allowed on TV. Has he been arrested for that though? Mm. Uh, there's if, been some if, sort of police. But what is a logical argument to that? If we can't think of one, what? Sorry, in a sense. Yeah. So, what is the logical argument back to that? Why shouldn't we be in the state? She's got a point. <laughs> <laughs> she's got there a point. There you go. That's, that's going to go I'm with gonna, it. It's probably right. I'm just going to go I mean, with maybe it. Maybe she's got a point. Has yeah. she got a point? Maybe, maybe, no, maybe, no. maybe no. she's all safe, doesn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We're all going, whatever, shut up. She's going, no, honestly, just watch out. Yeah, you Don't just... say the wrong thing and your life will be better. Right, no, she's it? not saying that because wow. that's different, isn't it? If, if you're saying watch out, be careful and be a little bit more... Um, careful of what you say and how you say it to offend people yeah, you've fair, fair enough fear. but then if you tell people they should live their life in a constant state of fear how is that healthy how am, how are people going to thrive in that mentality I'll give you an argument for that okay. this is another one of my arguments <laughs> <laughs> um, women are always in a constant state of fear because nothing. all women feel unsafe most of the time well, is that fact? Uh, no, that's not clearly her opinion. Okay. That what? women generally feel unsafe all the time. Women live in fear because oh, men she's are physically every bad. woman. No, exactly. That's but, what I mean. It can't. It's not. She's a polar seven. Okay, women. but it's let's got look no at, substance. Let's, that, well, I don't know. If you think about it, like if you're physically more vulnerable mm. than half of the population in the world, mm. and you're and you walk down the street late at night, yeah. As opposed to when you walk down the same street late at night, yeah. Who's in more fear? In this day and age, so, I, under I, just, I, yeah, I understand your point, but in this day and age... Isn't that a sexist approach, though? Sure. It's very well, sexist. Do you know this yeah. argument? Look this, at the transgender <laughs> argument for a start. This, to... this argument about this thing really grips me because I get that mostly sexually motivated crimes are probably men towards women. Mm. So I get that. So I get there's the fear there for women. Yeah. But, and this thing about walking, I think you said safely down the street. I know more lads who've been like stabbed beaten within an inch of their life, mugged, mm. probably statistically. Men are victims of violence far, right. far more than Probably far more violence. than women. I don't know that fact. I don't know, I don't know the statistics, <laughs> but in my, well, I'll speak for myself when I say, like, yeah. I've been a victim of street robbery and things like this, numerous occasions. Yeah. But so, maybe the anxiety of a woman would make her not walk down a street that you probably shouldn't as a man, but you're, you're drunk and your ego tells you to walk. I, I don't know. There's been times in my life where I've not wanted to walk down certain streets. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I think you just go Okay, so the number of homicides in England and Wales between 2010 and 2022, um, of the 69% recorded homicides during that time, oh no, in 21 to 22, sorry, 498 of the victims were male and 198 of the victims were female. So that's like 55%, well, there's a lot more male victims than there are female, but that's because right. men engage in more violent activities and behaviours yeah. than women do more than likely. Yeah. I'm speculating there. It's but contextual it, then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's contextual. Well, all right, so let's... I'm just helping... We... I'm, I'm going on the argument of Ava Evans for a moment just to spot the conversation. Mm. <laughs> but no, no, but, but everything has to be represented properly if you're going to have a debate about it. I think that's the point. Well, that is exactly the point. Instead of chucking personal insults and being offended and letting your emotions drive you, like you've just said, 
let's address that. Let's instead of shutting her down with Lawrence Fox saying he won't sleep with her, which is just ridiculous. No, no man, no, no, man no self-respecting like, man yeah. should ever get into that, bed with her. Like you say, he's, he's <laughs> not done himself to there, him. has it? <laughs> but but he, what, he what, what's that, wrong then. with having the chat? What's wrong with having... There's certain debates that can't be had because there's so much emotion involved that the anger takes over. I think the minute you can't talk about something shows that it's a problem and mm. you need to talk about it more. That would be my approach. I don't, I don't know how you'd feel about that, but that's personally what I think. But are women um, more vulnerable and, in a sense, live in fear because of the dangers they feel men may pose to them? Well, that would make children even more... Fear. Correct, yeah. Well, that maybe it does, but that's a, an extra variable. Let's just stick to men and women. Adults. Well, yeah, because I think that nobody lives in fear, abject fear all the time because you'd get used to it. Because the more the more you get um, fear in its place, I think you would get more. I mean, you think about the safety that's around now. 50 years ago, there's no, not as much safety. 100 years ago, definitely not. So anxiety then, was it any more or any less? Do you know what I mean? I, I think subjectively, I, I think so, also the argument on the on the feminist side of the argument um, is that well, they can't actually, prove the it. majority of men aren't violent towards women. No. Mm. But, and it's as simple as that. Do you know but, what I mean? Most she men say are violence, so you a would, small you, proportion yeah, of yeah, men. But, yeah, but it's not violence. It, it's words as well. Now, do you know what I mean? There's a, there's a lot yeah. of elements. It's all getting it. mixed together, isn't it? That's yeah, the problem. There's, there's, there's a, domestic uh, violence. Yes, domestic, domestic abuse, abuse emotional abuse. Yeah, emotional abuse, everything like that. So. That's going on and people are taking that on board. But I just think that um, abuse in general is subjective to the fact that it, that it can get very watered down. And then she's saying it could be, how do you measure how scared women are? So without anything, she's brought nothing. I don't know whether there's any science or statistics buy it there um, isn't but we definitely need someone like that to come on here and talk to agreed us yeah i'd like to know the statistics but all this relates to basically what people say so that lawrence fox i think he's got some sort of police investigation going on i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm honest with you it, loads of people have been sacked it was a horrible thing to say oh, we got... if he hadn't have said it on an online um if he just said it to her like face to face and no and no one heard it would there still be this would he still got the sack a tree fell in a forest would anybody hear it <laughs> well, that's a great bit of wisdom and that's that's a bit of wisdom yes. from is that from um, the art of war yes is it? you don't know where it's from I just said yes. oh, what, have you, what are you oh, doing what have you just been given Sorry, there Luke no, this is come here <laughs> Let this me is just, uh, uh, let me just say, Abs, Abs TV. Dr. Abs. Are we ready? Dr. Abs. Are we ready Dr. Abs. some intriguing questions? Yeah, we're ready, yeah. Abs. We're ready. Okay, it's, it's thank my, you. It's my mug of... What's questions. this? Quick fire? Mm. Uh, uh, no, not no. quick fire, no. This nah. is a debatable you, you, topic, so you, I think. You, it's called okay. a Question in a Mug. <laughs> question in a Mug. <laughs> <laughs> How did you come up with that name? That's um, incredible. Question in a Mug. I put some questions in a mug. <sighs> wow. Read it out, Nick. Should drugs be legal? Oh... Well, wow. <laughs> so you've got to ask what type is really simple. But... I think this is a really simple, okay. simple one for me. Yeah, go on then. Go, Start you go you first. Go. Yeah, yeah. Um, drugs should be decriminalized. Uh, I think most drugs should be decriminalized. Is decriminalized different to legal? Uh, yeah, so yeah. you've got legalization for like complete legalization, like for recreational, like, 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 like what Canada has done in for cannabis. Yeah, it's yeah. just free reign, just yeah. do what you want. We're in. Some countries it's decriminalized, and then you've got periods like, um, like you know, if you go to Amsterdam and the Netherlands, they've got something called a tolerance policy. Mm. So there's other different ways to approach it. Yeah, a tolerance policy it's illegal, but we're going to tolerate this much of it. Any more right. than that, and you know, we'll come tell you off. Yeah, um, the criminalization of drugs still baffles my mind, particularly if you look at America, um, the amount of cocaine Central America imports into America, the amount of policing it takes, the amount of... They, America also have to police Mexico and provide funding and yeah. armies and military against cartels. The operation around it is unbelievable. And if people understood the like, amount of murders and deaths of innocent people take place in the production of drugs, they would think twice about consuming it over mm. miles away in Europe. But right. they still country. get in. They still get into the country, don't they? Mass on mass. You can go to a maximum security prison mm. and <laughs> get, get any... Whatever you want. Oh, yeah. Whatever you want. So, so, so our approach to managing drugs doesn't work, which well, is really Well, bizarre. ironically, if you put 3,000 drug dealers in one room, you're probably going to be able to get some drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the irony, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. You never thought of it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put 40,000 drug dealers in one yeah. spot. 
Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. could go wrong? What a great item. <laughs> master plan, isn't it? <laughs> For 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to try and get? Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Um, but, look. The, if you can get it in there no matter what like the barriers they're putting in place for drugs and managing drugs isn't working and we spend billions on policing drugs and actually they could flip that on its head put that money to better to better use and mm. um if you, you know if you look at places like um switzerland they treat um heroin users as patients yeah, that, yeah. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but here in the late 90s, early 2000s, the NHS changed the way the approach to, to get people to stop smoking. Smoking got stopped seeing this, uh, uh, you're a horrible, dirty smoker. You saw the big NHS posts everywhere. Do you remember? Quit smoking. Do you saw the, so new see them now. See the new leaf The new leaf yeah. stuff. Yeah. Get and... To get you off it, to support you With and help em- you. Empathy. I mean, empathy. But now, yeah. kids don't smoke. It's not called cool smoke anymore. It's worked. Their campaign has worked for mm-hmm. smoking. Well, also yeah. as well, in, yeah, in, that in has Ameri- worked. In America, I watched um, Peter Santana, which I like. Peter Santana was amazing. I watch him every night. Uh, but he went out to Alapasha, and um, I think that's how you say it in America. And they've got an opioid <laughs> crisis. And basically, he went and he went and interviewed a guy. Went around the whole town. The whole town was on an, this... on an alpaca. No, it's alpaca. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ever call El Pacha and El Pacha. Yeah, <laughs> El Pacha in a El Pacha. Yeah. Right, but these these uh, is a lovely picturesque town, football team, all friends, and then and uh, basically what they said an opioid crisis come. They start to give legalized heroin, so uh, synthesized heroin, and they give them out to the doctors, and then before they know it, ev- this whole town has just imploded. Everyone and this guy's um, like a, he's a priest now that goes around and goes sees all the, his friends and imploded in what way though? Is in everyone pretty much I think it's uh, seventy to eight percent of the whole town are addicted. To oh, so everyone. it's gone, it's backfired. It hasn't and worked. Mums, teenagers, everyone oh, they completely right, okay. got addicted to it, and the whole town itself has imploded. And the sheriffs there had an interview, and they're the only people in America that because they, they they can talk freedom of speech they can say whatever they like mm. and he just says that the 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 um pharmaceutical companies pumped into the town while giving people checks to get rid of the all the mining and the steel to other companies that's what so that's two examples one way it works and one way it doesn't yeah so, so that's maybe I mean. it's maybe it is a really tough what do you mean well like, like you said yeah, in the yeah. scandinavian <laughs> countries um they yeah, they, they, they had yeah, it's it's switzerland they had the portugal have decriminalized now as well they yeah do something but similar. like you say it works the 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 crime rate's gone down, but then obviously Luke's... Well, Scotland have just passed a bill to do it. They're going to start doing it. Oh, really? They're decriminalising drugs and they're going to start treating think, heroin users. Do you think yeah. culture plays a part in it? In, like, in terms of, so, international <clears throat> culture, so a mo- lot more sort of chilled... So, example, we use alcohol. So, like, England, the alcohol culture is like, Woo, sesh, you know, let's get boozed up. Mm, let's not go culture, and have a beer. Yeah. Let's just get as out of face as we fucking possibly let's can. Five, let's get no, fucked. I, I, Whereas in Spain, like, you can go out... Like, I was in I was in Italy the other, the other week, and we, like, sat at 11 o'clock at night in the main square in the town centre, and we're eating and having a beer. Massive cultural with difference. With the kids. Yeah. I don't yeah, think it's th- a beautiful place. So the culture's completely different. So when I take that back to the drug culture... It's like, I get what you're saying. So certain countries are doing certain things, but is that based on their cultures? But, yeah. Like if England made cocaine, weed, everyone would just go, <laughs> like no one would go work for like a year. I think there's something deeper there though. I think you're right. I think you're onto a good point. Yeah. It's the way, we're, it comes it's, down it's to the way cont- we're raised. It comes down to contentness and happiness. Yeah. And I think <clears throat> a, lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of people in this country, um, we, we have this culture of turning to external things for pleasure and happiness to distract us yeah, from the fucking shit food and grey weather that we get in this country all the time and the massive taxes. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, if you live on the Mediterranean coast and you live in Italy, you'll see that their kid, their families are out eating at yeah. 8 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. That's, That's what I'm saying. There's no vandalism. There's I like, no... literally was sat in the market in the town square. So imagine Nottingham Square. I'm sat on the square at 11 o'clock at night with my kids yeah. and my wife and we're eating dinner and we're having yeah, a beer. A I'm a bit tipsy, mm-hmm. sensible. And no one's misbehaving. If that was Nottingham, yeah, you'd have seven chaps beating the shit out of each other in front. Of, <laughs> well, what you? we're doing you know, is we're yeah. but, but, but by just that, for well, the record, I am also a chaff. <laughs> so <it's> not, <laughs> <laughs> would you want yeah, to seven? Yeah. I'm would not slate seven. Them. I've been one of it. I was a seven. Basically, what you're saying is products of your environment. Aren't yeah, you? uh, yeah. But if you, but I, I do think that here's an idea. Then it might be controversial. I don't know. Um, if if we decriminalise drugs. And a populate, uh, you know, certain people started abusing and overusing. Is the problem the drug, or is the problem the person? The problem using? is always the person. Exactly. So here's my point. Unless it's, unless it's so heroin, heroin, the problem. One time, but, but wait, a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
in some rare cases, yeah. But generally speaking, generally speaking, if um, are people who are less emotionally um, content or happy, I don't know what word you want to use, are they more likely to? Why are we using drug as, as the problem? Is the problem actually, does the drugs just expose the problems yeah. that people have? I agree. Yeah, I Could agree. you use drugs to, to find out who's the most messed up? Mm. And they're the ones that are going to abuse the most, or or not? Am I? Is that because that's a bit I, controversial? I think so. I think so. Do you? Mm, definitely. Yeah. You know, do you real. If, if you're really content and happy with your life, really content and happy, are you less likely to use substances well, can, to make you feel? I suppose better? I can only speak from myself. And yeah. I'm willing to, we, and we can all do. Yeah. But I will say that you know, I've you know, I've I've parted. I've you know, I've used cocaine and I've done these things. But as, I don't know if it's age. I don't know what it is. But I will say that as I'm happier Maturing. and more content in life, my need for alcohol and cocaine has become a lot less. Yeah. The, I don't feel the need. Like I would, you, you're, I don't know what it, I couldn't explain what it was. I, I probably could have thought about it, but you know, I'd go out every Friday. It was just what I did. And it was just, I was young and I go out every Friday in a party with the boys. Never really had a, a, a problem. Mm. Um, but then again, I know a thousand lads who use cocaine and none of them have got a problem apparently. <laughs> so who knows, maybe I did, but yeah, and it was a bit of escapism. It switched my mind off from work and stresses and so on. But as I've got to, I'm like 40 in January, like, it, yeah, it just doesn't... I think the con- Maybe it's because I've just abused it to death and I'm I not bothered wonder, anymore. But. I just wonder if people that are addicted to drugs who have real bad addictions, whether it's alcohol or cocaine or whatever drug it is, mm. are they... Um, is it them that's the issue, not the addiction? Well, is it no, their the, issues that create the addiction? Yeah. Or, or some people, heroin addict might go, no, you try having heroin, you're hooked. I don't care how heroin Yeah, you no, are. you are after one, but the, the, what led you down that path but, generally right. ends up being somebody's... Yeah. And I, I think the unfortunate situation. answer is it's just different on a person to person. You so might get that person who was quite happy who just went to that party and tried heroin. Back and to the then they got question. addicted. Or you might get the person who's deeply troubled and used heroin. You know, I think it's yeah. it's just an individual circumstantial. circumstantial. Yeah, yeah, individual. Or bring in there's so many factors. So yeah. should it be de- should it be, should well, it be decriminalized? I'll, I'll put it this way. It being illegal hasn't helped. Helped. Mm. Nothing's happened. Yeah, yeah, but would it be worse if there was shops selling cocaine in the market yeah, square yeah. on a Saturday That's the thing in it. Who knows? And that's the big question. That is the I question. think there would be a real period queue for that shop. of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I think there'd be a real <laughs> queue for that shop. There'd be no, no. summer sales. I right? think there'll be what, carnage. What are they selling at Boots? <laughs> I think there'll be carnage for a, a long while and a lot of people will be impacted and then, then it's we'll simmer le- down. they would simmer down and people just learn how to manage it's, it and would save so much. Well, listen, the money that we would save on police and drugs and the lives we would save mm. from the people in South America that no one cares about no one, no, no, all the way over and there. the parties we would have. Yeah, and the par- <laughs> <laughs> but like you say that money could yeah, be used better elsewhere helping right. people who've got issues Obviously. talking well, you know, through why they're yeah. but, but, you know we, we can't buy kids school meals for them you know yes. we haven't got enough money for that like it, it pisses me off but mm. we'll, we'll we'll pay the police to fly helicopters and so for people's school weed. meals I've, we pay, I've only just found out we pay for school meals we don't pay for school meals I do no, we do. Oh, you mean yourself, you <laughs> need, not the government. Yeah, no, I'm, I, yeah, my kid has to come with a card and it's like three quid. For, what? I'm like, what? <laughs> no, I think school meals should be free and provided by the government. 100% Because there are kids be. out there that we're don't there eat. When we were kids. Yeah. We're there when we were kids. I got free school meals. That's because we were poor. When we I were got kids. two free school meals. I got two because I had two change of names. So I used to sell oh, one. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sell one. Nice. Nice. Little yeah. Del boy. Yeah. Yeah. No, so sell it to the chippy and then um, keep one. For, I've just had a really, really horrible flashback at school of... I can remember kids with like dinner tokens. Yeah, that was me. What was right. <laughs> yeah, what's a dinner token? Like one pound fifty or something. One twenty five. One twenty five. Yeah. Right, and I can remember Three. hustling them for like fifty p. Yeah. And I'd buy yeah. their dinner token off them for fifty p, yeah. so I could you yeah. know, to make more a dinner, dinner off. Them. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah. wanted the, they wanted the reddies so they could buy I think, a cigarette. I, mean, I tell you what, the. <laughs> It was not worth one twenty five. No. It was a bad meal. What did you get? It was pizza and chips, wasn't it? it was pizza and chips, chicken nuggets. And never seen a chicken. I've got good memories of school food. School though. pizzas, school, I thought were school amazing. Pizza, to is that be the honest. square one? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. junior bad school. Boy. Junior school is just even. Junior school is this lovely place where teachers are like, ha, ha, "You're going to be the best." You just started to senior school, and it's yeah. just completely. Do you think down. that um, school meals should be free for all kids? Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Some Nick, kids. Nick, Nick's, Nick's skeptical. Just, just in a sense of. Um, some people don't wouldn't need free meals, so that I just no, think but they don't have to have it. I think it should. As no, it, I, think I think everyone means, should have the same meal. I think it should be means. I think it should. Yeah, but I'm saying it's like we've got like this whole 
bus pass pension thing going on. It's like creating a class in school. It's like 40 million quid getting a a bus pass. It's like you don't need a bus pass. I know you're entitled to it, but like that could go to somebody. Oh, I see what you're saying. So if like your family earn 200,000 pound a year, you can pay for your sausage and chips at school. That's one side of the coin. But the other side of the coin is what about the people who don't need the tokens and they're having loads of really nice dinners and then the people are having, it creates a divide is what I'm saying. No, you still pay for it. You get the same as everyone else. So if you're under a certain amount of wage per year, your kid gets it free. If not, you have to put the money on the card. I think what I'll say is, what what you said is, don't you think everybody should get it? I think every child should get a hot school meal. Yes. Yeah, yeah, some fact. of them don't even get that. So the regardless why... of income and however it's done, yeah. like every child should be getting fed. Yeah, the reason why I think it's not just about access to the meal, but it's about that understanding and collective consciousness that whilst you're a child, your, your, your government's going to provide you with a meal. And meal times are important for people. They Even the ones with rich families, right? Let's say they've got working two doctors' families. They never even sit down and have a meal with their families. They're yeah. always at fucking work. They've got some nanny looking after them or babysitters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happens. And that's their choice. I'm not criticising it. Mm. But to sit down and have a meal with your peers at school and it be paid for, I think it's an actual heartwarming, yeah. important thing. And the kids that don't eat properly when they get home, that's the only meal they get all day. How can you expect a child to sit in a classroom and concentrate and really learn mm. on an empty stomach? I think that's Can't the important thing is like there, there are probably some kids and we can probably remember some kids at school looking back, probably the ones who got picked on a bit and whatever that probably weren't getting a hot meal when they got home. Yeah. yeah. And and that to me is like the main Sad. The main thing. That Imagine your really kids now, now you're a father. Oh yeah, 100%. I couldn't, you know, and I like say at school, we like you'd have the, you know, the the kids. That, well, I'm just gonna say what you know. You'd have we call it the, the trampier kids, or the one have the nice clothes and whatever we said, and how it was, um, and the reality was now as adults, it was being neglected. But at school, it's like you know, we don't can't sit and pretend like you know, it's like a lack they, of they understanding, get on, isn't it? They get yeah. laughed at, and yeah. you know, they didn't have the coolest trainers, yeah. and they didn't have the top gear. And we were all the cool kids, and or you know. Well, now that's just personified, isn't it? But now yeah, they've uh, got more to uniforms than than anything which else. Which again, I think <laughs> uniforms should be hundred percent because it takes because away it takes away their yeah. self consciousness. I can remember individualism. Though. I can remember no, non school but... uniform day at school, and I can remember how mortified some kids were. I can remember that, and that was being a kid. I can remember being thirteen. We had no uniform day, which is great if you've got the night yeah, trainers and all the yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But all of you in your mind go back and them kids that you're thinking yeah. about, and yeah. I can remember seeing them, and they'd just be like so shit because they just knew, and it was sheepish and whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I get that. Yeah. It's, you know, um, it's not a good thing. Yeah, the the I think the whole uniform thing, though. I know what you're saying about the individualism side of things. Yeah, but. I don't think it's school's responsibility to build a kid's individualism. I, I think it's I've, a changed, I've changed my mind a little bit, if I'm totally honest, uh, in the last few years. But I started seeing everyone in uniforms and my, my daughter's going in uniforms and I was thinking, that's taking away of individual. But as I've known the school and known the kids, the kids do interject a lot easier. There's no like, well, there was always gangs at our school. There was the kids that wore that, the kids that wore that. It's not like, like that anymore. Clicks. There's less antagonizing situations. I was going to say like, I mean, my son's 14 and I just think like, watching him grow up now and being 14 is a pleasure to where I was at 14. I think so. Like I, I look now and I'm like, I'm, I'm, so, I look at the kids, I'm like, so things have got better is what we're saying. Yeah, then. like yeah. the cool, the cool kids. It's, I, I think there's some like joking, like jump street. Is there like 21 jump street where so, they go back to school and yeah, they turn yeah, up yeah. and they're being like yeah, bullies yeah, and everyone's yeah. like, yeah. how do you know? Yeah. And yeah. that's how it is now. Like all the kids, it's cool to be like, it's cool to be nice. Yeah. And yeah. be nice yeah. and not smoke so that's and not drink. Thing, and whereas yeah. when we were at school, it's like yeah. the bigger the arsehole you could be. Yeah. The more popular you were. The more popular you were, which obviously worked out fucking great. They were hard. They were hard days. So what you were saying is it's a positive progression then basically that we're making, if that's the case. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we're doing another question. One okay. more, yeah? Oh, have I got two here? Yeah? No. Oh, what's it say? Is the use of social media algorithms to spread misinfora- uh, misinformation a threat to democracy? Wow. We've kind of done that, haven't we? Yeah, we've kind of been through that a little bit. Didn't uh, we? Well, we did cover no, that not, with, not, with not, the policing not. of social media. Listen, don't ruin his politics, version. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got, has he revised this? No. no. He loves I think you should politics. do another. Grab one. Oh, what, really one. No, I think it's too similar. Yeah. Oh. yeah, It's quite similar to what we... He had a great answer for that. And I, I sorry, know, Joe. I <laughs> Put his notepad away. If vegetables could talk, which one do you think would have the best attitude? <laughs> What? what the f- wow. Where did that come I don't know. from? That's definitely been, you. Uh, Abs came and brought them in. <laughs> <laughs> so think about it. Which vegetable would have, have the, best? the best attitude if it could talk? I, t- honestly I feel don't. like a carrot would be quite pretentious. Oh, why? Pretentious? Yeah. Just it's carrot, in it? Fucking carrot. Is a cucumber a vegetable? 
Um, I mean, there's a lot. I've of seen a lot of them. On, I've Kale seen a lot of them featured work. on like Instagram. Kale will be the fuck. worst vegetable ever. Yeah. 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 Tomatoes would be embarrassed. Yeah. Of everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think bananas would be quite trendy. That's fruit. Onions will just be on the session all the time. <laughs> Oh, See, was it not fruit and veg? Just veg, veg, sorry. Yeah, veg, just veg. That's yeah. what I was asking about. Just veg. Yeah, well, I, was ask, I was asking about the cucumber. Is a cucumber yeah. a vegetable? I think it is. Is it? I'm going to say, yeah. I've seen a lot of them on like Instagram and OnlyFans and stuff, and they all seem really positive. <laughs> <laughs> They're always happy. <laughs> <laughs> what, They're always having a good time. And yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah. I'd like to, if I was going to hang around with a vegetable, it'd probably be a cucumber. There you go. With See? a load of OnlyFans people. Not as bad as you thought. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, that's added a new... Dynamic with yeah. a load of what? Only, only fans. fans people. Oh, okay. Look it up, Ben. I know. I know. Like you haven't seen. I think the biggest cunt would be an aubergine. Oh, fucking aubergine. Why? Aubergine. Oh, the old fucking word. The old word, aubergine. Let's <laughs> 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 get another question. Yeah, get another question. <laughs> oh, am I going again? Okay. I like this table, by the way. Oh, ben, it. tell Dick about the table. I made this I with my bare it. hands. I like it. Literally. Right. Okay. Next question. What would be the title of your autobiography if you wrote one today? Oh my god! Oh my god! What'd that be? That's a hard one. You can't put that on YouTube the way it is. No, <laughs> paving, paving my way. Nick I would like if I was to write. <laughs> what? That's amazing. That's what is it? Paving, paving my, my way. way. Oh. <laughs> I paved. I paved it my way. <laughs> paved it my oh, way. Oh. No. Yeah, no. Got your book, B. Autobiography. Well, Sorry, say that again, mate. Autobiography. <laughs> the world's gone fucking mad. That would be the title of my autobiography. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a good, good one. Yeah. Yeah. What would yours be, Ben? I haven't even thought about it. What would yours be? Um, silhouette. Silhouette. Explain that. It was very artsy. Yeah. I, I, I just made it's it. It's a up. bit wanky. At least it's not massively offensive to fifty percent of the fucking population. <laughs> oh, exactly. So you're, yeah. it's better than mine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't think I could beat yours, but yeah. Yeah. That's it. Question over. Oh, another question? Would you like? I no, I've, I'll tell you what I've got. I've got some quick fire questions for Nick. And it's literally either or. So you ain't got to think about it. It's just real quick. Well, that's good then. Yeah, yeah, real quick. I'll get, I'm basically giving you an option and you pick one of them, yeah? Okay. Okay. Ooh. Right, you ready for this? I don't know. You asked him. You, you'll be fine. Can I pass? No, you've oh. got to answer everyone. Tupac or Biggie? Tupac. Ronaldo or Messi? Ooh. Ooh. Quick, quick. you got to be quick. Ronaldo up till recently. Okay. Early mornings or late nights? Early mornings, definitely. Are you a cannonball into the pool or dip a toe first? Dip a toe. Oh, wow. DC or Marvel? Marvel. On a scale of one to ten, how clean is your house right now? It's not my department, but <laughs> last <laughs> oh, time I was there, it was, uh, what scale of one to ten? Yeah, ten being I've really clean, I've got one kids, being... always a seven eight something add seven that's good that's, that's clean, good. Yeah, it's clean. Always, okay. yeah. as fast as i clean it it's gone yeah that's good uh relaxing holiday or active holiday mm, that's a difficult one probably relaxing relaxing would you rather a flattering lie or a hard truth hard truth <laughs> nice defo uh dream relationship or dream job relationship uh, wiping your bum <laughs> when you wipe your bum do you stand up or sit down Nick I've heard this before Weird. okay you where you at I've got a whole YouTube video dedicated to oh, this oh there one. you go See, is that where you got a, this from it's a topical no, subject just random came up in the podcast wow this week. that is freaky <laughs> it's because obviously we discovered debate. why I'm talking about this come on which one do you Sit down and sit down. Leave. <laughs> you stand up. Oh, you stand up. Yeah, you pervert. Why? Wow, that's oh, weird. Awful. No, you put yeah. your, you're putting your hand down the down toilet, toilet no, pan. That's disgusting. That. I'm not four years that. old. I don't stand up with my pants around my ankles. Yeah, yeah, you no, 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 you're, you're, you're weird. Like, this like, one's weird. too controversial to put. You had to put that on the end. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the discussion one. All right, last one. Would you rather be attacked by a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Think about it. Serious about, question. Can you imagine a fucking horse-sized dog? Yeah. <laughs> or a hundred little... Yeah, think about it. I feel like I could beat the little horses. A hundred? Like I could 100. kick them. I'd just well, keep right, kicking. So that's your answer. I think the dog one peck to the air. Bam, you're yeah. gone. Yeah. You're out. There we go. There's the quick fire. Nice one, Nick. Um, bit of a crazy end to that podcast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pretty random. But before all that stuff, um, yeah, it was interesting. And thanks for talking to us about your channel and what you're doing. Yeah. Um, we hope your YouTube channel continues to grow. And yours. Um, and succeed. Um, just to, as a reminder for anyone listening and they want to check you out on YouTube, where do they find you? Uh, I suppose you can just go onto YouTube and type in B and P paving. 
um, and we're on there to so have a look. Yep. And uh, after talking about your private Instagram, you might get you know some people giving some requests. So uh, mm. do do you accept people you don't know? Probably depends what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> Another controversial answer. I love it. Well done. If my wife's listening, no. <laughs> but if they're quite hot, mm. fair enough. Oh. I won't talk to them. Just look well, at them. Yeah, yeah, you're saying too much now. Too yeah. Much. yeah. Grows, okay. the, grows the mind. Yeah, yeah it does. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> Cheers, Nick. <laughs> Thank you. Wowza.